Many of WIU's residence halls use a two-pipe system to heat and cool the buildings. The two pipes represent supply and return. To heat the residence halls, steam travels through the steam converter to the air handler unit in the room to heat the coils which heats your room. To cool the residence halls, steam travels to the steam absorption chiller. The chilled liquid passes through the chiller to cool the coils in the air handler. Due to the two-pipe system of supply and return to heat and cool the buildings, there is no way for a quick changeover. In fact, this labor-intensive process requires multiple zones to be changed per building. This video depicts just one zone in one building. We consider long-range weather forecasts as well as current building temperatures before making decisions about air conditioning and heating changes. These systems take several days to change over from one system to another. For heating to be turned on, we require three consecutive days where high temperatures do not exceed 60 degrees and low temperatures remain below 45 degrees. For air conditioning to be turned on, we require three consecutive days where high temperatures exceed 80 degrees and low temperatures remain above 50 degrees. If you still find your room to be too hot or too cold, request a thermometer from your front desk and record the temperature in your room when submitting any work order.